Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever get a 20-gallon black iron pot over from the Pierre Port store in Pierre Port, Louisiana, you're going to want to know how to season that bad boy. And I'm going to show you how to get it done. All right, so when you get into a 20-gallon pot, it's very heavy. It's going to be a two-man job when handling this thing. So I got my buddy Shane to come over, and we lifted this thing off the burner, set it aside, and that's when I begin spraying it down. Just get a nice clean layer of water on here on the inside and outside of this pot. I sprayed all around, front, back. And once we got that layered on there, we went ahead and dumped the water that was in the pot out. Now that this pot is wet, went ahead and sprayed it down with some soap, and we got to scrubbing. You want to scrub this thing inside and outside really good. That first layer is dirty. So we're taking a nice scoring pad here and just scrubbing it down. Getting in every crevice of this pot that we can. And as you can see, that first layer of soap is dirty. It's kind of brown looking. That just lets you know how dirty this pot is. So I cleaned it out and scrubbed it once again. And then now you can see the suds are much cleaner. And that let me know this thing is nice and clean. Sprayed it down, got all that soap off of it, and then patted it down with a dry towel just to get as much water out of it as I could. Nonetheless, you'll have to put it back on the burner and dry it out. And so at this point, we're putting it on here, trying to level it off. I noticed it was a little low on my side, so I had to come back in there and just give it a nice lift. And then we were good to go. So now it's time to get this pot hit it up. Yes, indeed. So I'm going to keep it on a low heat here and just let it gradually come to like a 300 degree range. And once I know the pot has kind of heated up here and just got nice and warm, we pull the pot off the burner. And then that's when we're going to put our first layer of seasoning. And so what I like to use for my first layer of seasoning is some Crisco. It's a vegetable shortening that polymerizes really well. It's a great first layer of seasoning for your black iron pots and even your griddle. So what we're doing here is applying a thin layer of Crisco. We kind of grabbed a little knob of it out the can and just kept moving it around until it all became a thin layer. Once we got the inside really good, I started applying to the outside of this pot. I know that we're not cooking anything on the outside of the pot, but this is going to help the pot from rusting anywhere. Once we get it all hardened on there, it's just going to be a nice surface that keeps water from getting into that metal. So I light that pot up again, and then that's when we start getting this thing seasoned up. So I use my thermal gun here to monitor the temperature of this thing. I mean, as it starts smoking, you'll know when to turn it. So we let it smoke for a little bit on the bottom, and then we put it on its side, on top of this burner. Now you gotta be very careful when you do this. We use those hooks to lift it and we also have these high heat resistant gloves. Again, I'm checking the temperature to make sure it's hitting that like 450, 500 range. I watch it smoke off for a little bit and then we'll flip it the other way so that the polymerization can happen all throughout the entire pot. Now listen, when I check with my thermal gun and I see that the temperature is rising more and more, I'll sometimes lower that propane down to a very low level because I want to stay in like a 500 degree range. It'll smoke off evenly, it won't burn off. It'll just smoke off and then that's when the polymerization happens. So right here you can see we're just moving around, moving from one side to the other side. We could leave it just on the bottom because the heat will not rise up the walls. You have to put it on its side in order to get those side walls polymerized. Once we've done all sides, we let the pot cool and then we add a layer of grapeseed oil. A nice thin layer only to the inside. We don't need to do the outside. The other thing I'd really like to stress is make sure you have some high heat resistant gloves when moving this thing around. Once we got that thin layer on there, I repeat the process by heating the pot up and doing all the same things over again. And this is what you're left with, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful, slick, shiny, seasoned black iron pot. Ready for any jambalaya, gumbo, pasta laya, whatever you want. Just go ahead over to the Pierre Part store or Thibodeau store and pick you one of these bad boys up. And then get to cooking. Shout out Louisiana. Hiya!